I am really sorry about that. I have no idea what got into Caroline. Something my hard-ass father said or did, no doubt. But he's not gonna find out. Rain check. Hey, Charlotte. Mr. Forrester. Um... Yeah, you should go. All right, what, what is this? Was I out past my curfew? How old is that girl? You want to start there? You with the wife who's, who's younger than I am. <laughs> Just answer the question. How far did it go? I can't ask you that. Oh, man, I can't believe she ran straight to you. That, that's disappointing. You know, maybe you're right. Maybe you shouldn't have told me about an intern's phone. But when we tracked and attracted to here and Charlotte was missing, no one had to draw me a map. What do you want me to say, Dad, that she's of age? I mean, obviously, otherwise she wouldn't have qualified for the internship. The internship, that's right. She's an intern. That's a line you don't cross. I don't supervise her. I don't pay her. She's my coworker. We're peers. You what? You're peers? Yeah. She's your buddy because you grew up the same way. Is that <sighs> what happened? Oh, no. Maybe she looks at you as something else, as the boss's son with position and power who can change her life. Is that what you did? Yeah. I showed her the grounds, and we played a game. You played a game? Yep. Card game. A card game. I'm upstairs in your room. I mean, is there, a, is there a better place to play strip poker? Thomas, we can't have another sex scandal. Do you understand that at all? You caused enough of them. I'm never even going to come close to touching your record. Thomas! There are limits, even for someone like you. Didn't we just have this conversation in Paris about, what was her name, Marisa or Marissa, whatever it is? You can't just have whatever woman you want without consequences. Every day is double standard day with you. I mean, you, you didn't hook up with one of the models? Or was it, uh, four of the models? Whatever I may or may not have done before you were born is not the issue here. Okay, so you want to talk about the lines that you crossed after I was born. Or even just the thresholds that you crossed after I was born. All right, you move in with Brooke, back with Mom, and back in with Brooke, and then back with Mom. I, did they just keep a suitcase packed right next to the you door for you? You can't accuse me of anything I haven't accused myself of, but right now, son, today I want to talk about your behavior. You want to have a father-son talk now. I mean, if you wanted to teach me something, you should have done that years ago. But you were just as self-centered and as self-righteous then as you are now. I don't have room for a father in my life anymore. You don't get to choose that. I don't get to choose? Why not? You got to choose. I mean, you chose to have a family. You wanted to be photographed as this, this doting family man just to offset your reputation. My reputation? Yeah. And you know what? You're about to start another family with Caroline. Another family with Caroline. Uh, and, and we both know that the only way that that is going to end is with her as a single mom. You're way out of line. I will never do the things that you did. No son of mine will wait in his room just to hope that I will come down those stairs in the morning to say hi. And I love you. And I'm proud of you, son. I didn't get that. I wanted that. I will not have a son or a daughter or a woman waiting on me to break the promises that you broke in my life day after day. I'm sorry, Thomas. You have very convenient memory. <laughs> Who do you think cleaned up your messes? Who paid for your college, your sports cars, and your lifestyle? I gave you international because you had nowhere else to go. I gave you a job on the design team because you wanted to come home. So what exactly did I deprive you of? Maybe it's not me. Maybe it's you. Maybe it's the fact that you're a spoiled, entitled brat with no accountability who will take whatever he wants from his father. <laughs> How'd that feel? Hitting your own dad. You disrespected me. You have been all my life. I disrespected you. So now you think you have the right to hate your father? How do you do that? How do you hate your own father? I guess for a minute that I forgot you were my father. I just haven't had many reminders. Of stop acting like a child. I'm not a child, and you need to stop making me beg for your approval. All right, that's something I got very little of over these years, and I don't need it anymore, all right? I'm through with it. And I sure as hell don't need you telling me who the hell I can go to bed with. Must be quite a list you got going there. Who else is on there, Thomas? I can only imagine.
All right, great. Yeah, turn your back again. No, Thomas. You turned your back on decorum, on good sense, and now on family. Whoa, 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 no, 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 no. Don't give me family. All right, where were you when I was younger? When I was just a little kid, when I needed you the most? You were so wrapped up in your ego, you're too busy hanging out with Brooke and Mom and messing around with them. That's not family. That is dysfunction. We have issues. I'm way past issues at this point. Block them out. You're past it? Because you just hit me. Because you can't keep treating me like your little boy. I'm an adult. I deserve you're that much. You're not an adult. An adult knows that there are things that are off limits. So what if I slept with her? Even if I did, it doesn't matter. We're both young. We're both single. And I'm definitely not ready to settle down like you are with a woman who is half my age. I did what I wanted in Paris. I lived the way that I was going to live, and I'm going to do exactly the same here. No respect and no boundaries. I set my own boundaries, just like you. But you don't. You're the great Thomas Forrester. You don't need boundaries. And I guess you don't need respect either for anyone, not even your dad. I won't forget this. Maybe it's the fact that you're a spoiled, entitled brat with no accountability who will take whatever he wants from his father. Bam. 